Hey, this is Rip and coming to you live from the world famous comedy store main room for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Wow. Hi, everybody. Look at this packed ass crowd. Make some noise, everyone. Brian Redband's here. What's up? Live, live on YouTube from the main room of the comedy store, the greatest comedy club on the planet. Uh-huh. It's great, great to be, be home, back. good to be back. We just had a crazy long stretch of shows in Cleveland, Cincinnati, Fort Wayne. Thank you to all those amazing cities in the Mideast of America for uh, great shows. We had a lot of fun. I had a, uh, I had a crazy plane trip uh, coming home yesterday. Yeah? Our guest is a few minutes away, so I'm stalling. So I'm going to tell you guys this crazy thing. This is a true story. You know this, right? Oh, this is hilarious. It's unbelievable. So uh, normal thing. We fly all the time, right? It's part of, part of what I do. I've gotten pretty decently good at it. And yesterday, I have the front seat of the premium side. Not first class. Uh, the front of the back, basically, right? Yeah, yeah Row business Row seven, class. seat A. Now, that's a window seat. I specifically paid the extra 30 bucks for the fucking window seat, right? Because I know that I'll enjoy it. It was a long flight. It's from Chicago to L.A. That's a longer one. Anyway, normal thing. I've gotten good at flying, so I sleep like a baby. I got the big fancy Tempur-Pedic neck pillow, the biggest one possible, like one of those fucking linebacker things. I have the $37 eye cover. It's $37 fucking dollars. Hell Can yeah. you imagine how good it must be? It's, 30, it's basically a Tempur-Pedic fucking eye cover. It's thick. It's crazy. So I'm out like a light for about, we'll say, four hours, right? I think maybe it's a, anyway, we'll say four hours. There's about an hour left on the flight when I wake up. I'm waking up. And I have that gray wall in front of me. So there's really nothing to look at. The little TV monitor's off. Right? So I'm trying to focus my eyes. And, but there's nothing to really focus on. My window shutter's closed, right? And I look, the only thing I see is I'm starting to like wake up, right? I'm getting crap out of my eyes and I'm looking down. My thing was on too tight. My $37 eye cover was on too tight. Oh. And I'm looking down, <laughs> and I'm looking down, and my eyes start to focus that the guy to my left in the middle seat is texting. So I'm looking, even though it's something I never do, I look at the text message, mm. and it says, yeah, where are you at? I'm stuck in the middle seat between two weirdos. <laughs> this is what I'm waking up to. Right? So I'm thinking to myself, how the fuck am I a weirdo? Why? Because I was sleeping? Like a baby? Just out like a light? How am I possibly a weirdo? And I start thinking to myself, maybe the guy on the other side of this guy is a weirdo, and he's sort of exaggerating to his friend via text. So I sort of do a lean forward to see what that guy looks like. Fucking badass cowboy looking dude, badass mustache, fucking leather boots. I mean, well-fitting clothes, right? Cool fucking jacket. He reminded me of like the bartender from, Bi or not the bartender, but the guy at the bar in the Big Lebowski, that cool cowboy yeah. motherfucker. You sure you weren't like moaning when you were sleeping? Or Don't interrupt me here, Brian. Just uh, let the momentum roll here. Uh, so the cowboy guy, right, with the beat you just stepped on, isn't a weirdo, right? He's a badass motherfucker. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm a badass motherfucker. This guy's totally in the wrong. He's a fucking weirdo, right? But then I became sort of a weirdo because I kept looking at everything he was doing on his phone after that. I couldn't help myself. If, his, if the first thing I saw was that I'm a fucking weirdo, what else is this guy talking about? And he's going from one text conversation to another, and I see two, three, four text conversations all about how he's in between two weirdos. <laughs> Different people. This guy clearly has had his Wi-Fi bumping the f four hours that I've been asleep. Right? And he's just going from one conversation to the next. And I keep watching. He goes, yeah, the guy to my right on the window seat has the window shutter closed. What a weirdo. <laughs> and another conversation. He goes, yeah, the guy to my right has the window shutter closed. He must be afraid of flying. And all this is happening. I'm thinking to myself, you know what? Fuck this guy. I'm going to keep the window shutter closed the whole time. And I look over again. And what do I see him text? His one friend from probably down on land goes, where are you at? Do you know? And he goes, I think I'm flying over the Grand Canyon. But I wouldn't know because the weirdo next to me has his window shutter closed. Finally, I'm like, you know what? 
I, I want to say something, right? I want to say something to the fucking guy. I want to go, who the fuck do you think you are, right? But I know that I can't do that because that's just going to end up two guys in the front of the plane going, you're a fucking weirdo. No, you're a fucking weirdo. So instead what I do is I reach forward nice and slow and I grab that window shutter by that little bottom part, right? And I slowly start to lift it up. And as I get it just barely up, I put my head right in front of it like that. And I'm just leaning out a window like I've never looked outside before in my life. Like a prisoner that just got his first window in years. I'm just fucking filling the window with my head. Not even looking at anything. I know what the fuck all that shit looks like. I fly every fucking week and I'm not afraid of flying. So I'm just filling the thing with my head a good 15 seconds. And then what do I do? reach my hand back up and I grab the top of that fucking shutter and I slowly lift my head away and go soup like that. <laughs> fucking weirdo Fuck calling yeah. me a weirdo. It's so weird. I always sleep with that thing down. Who fucking keeps it yeah, open? I, I want that sun in my eye the you whole time. You got the middle seat, you idiot. Yeah. Don't accept a middle seat unless you're not going to be a baby about the window. Windows are closed. A bunch of tourists here with the fucking looking out the windows. They're like, why don't you enjoy the process? <laughs> Ryan J. Ebelt's here. He draws hey, every episode. Look at that. Speaking of uh, windows, always a sun, sunny sight to see, the great Ryan J. Ebelt. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we just did a whole crazy week on the road, and we're about to do it again this week. We're going to Lexington to do some stand-up, and then we're doing that big rescheduled Kill Tony in Nashville uh, this Sunday, that's a big one for us. September 20th, we're in Lansing, Michigan, doing Kill Tony and stand-up. Same with Grand Rapids the next day, September 21st. And then the next day, Detroit, Michigan, September 22nd, doing a Kill Tony there with our guest Danny Brown and some special yeah. surprises. And then the next week, we're in Toronto. I'm doing uh, some stand-up shows and uh, some crazy stuff. That's a big festival. That's JFL Toronto. And then... We are doing a Kill Tony there on the 28th of September at midnight. That's Friday wow. at midnight. A midnight show. That is going to be fucking chaos. They yeah. put us in this beautiful Regal Theater, and we're going to burn the bitch down. October 3rd through the 6th, I'm doing stand-up in Chicago. And then November 9th, we're at Venus de Milo in Swansea. I think I'm saying that right. Massachusetts, outside of Boston, between Boston and Providence. Smack dab right in the middle. So, you know, we had a lot of people driving from a lot of different places. Uh, yeah, four hours? Shows. Yeah. That was crazy. So, um, yeah, good luck. And then uh, November 13th, we're in San Antonio doing Kill Tony in a stand up show. The 14th in Austin, the 15th in Houston, and the 16th in Fort Worth. That's all in November. That's a four day stretch. Uh, actually, it's a five day stretch because we have five days in Fort Worth. Damn, we sold this motherfucker out tonight. Give yourselves a hand yeah. for being an amazing audience. We wow. packed this bitch. We did it. All right. Um, so, yeah, there's a bunch of Kill Tonys happening. Thanks, everybody, for watching on YouTube. We're live on YouTube, our yes. brand new home. We yep. just, uh, we are perhaps the, what we would call the last to the YouTube party. Uh, <laughs> but. Um, but here we are. We have finally arrived. A lot of people were wondering, where's Kill Tony going to end up? Netflix? Comedy Central? YouTube. We're on YouTube, everyone. We did it. Breaking new ground. Took five years to sign our uh, deal with YouTube. <laughs> our Cleveland, Cincinnati, and Fort Wayne shows will be uploaded to YouTube this week also. So if you want three extra episodes... Check it out, youtube.com slash kill Tony. And be sure to check out uh, Roast Battle on Comedy Central on Tuesday nights at 10. Oh. In a couple weeks, there's going to be a special oh. Oh. treat for all you Kill Tony uh, fans out there as I will be taking on the undefeated, undisputed, defending Roast Battle champion, Mike Lawrence. We'll see how that goes. Fingers crossed. It's going to be one of the toughest things I've ever done. Uh, luckily, I've written for the last six or seven Comedy Central roasts, and I was built for that shit. So we'll see what happens. Um, maybe we should bring the band up first. What do you think? You guys like bands? How many of you uh, are fans of this show? All right. Then you guys know what's up. Every single week, these guys commit to different characters, and I never know what they're going to be. They actually, for the first time ever, slid the sliding doors in their special green room closed. I think they were up to something for a while back there. And I'm really excited to see what they do. They are 
unbelievably great. Just killed it on the road, and uh, here they are. They're the best damn band in the land. They're the Kill Tony band. Jeremiah Watkins, Joel Jimenez, and Chroma Chris. Come on, guys. You got to make some noise. Oh, my God. It's Street Fighter. Wow! This is incredible. Holy shit. Street Fighter. Wow. Great. Perhaps some of the most committed characters I've ever seen. Oh, wow. I just tore my ACL, Tony. <laughs> wow. We have the uh, methed out karate kid. And uh, fuck yeah, Chroma Chris has gone full lesbo for this one. And then we have, uh, what is it? <laughs> Someone that drowned trying to swim here from Mexico? It's Blanca. Oh, Blanca. That's yeah. right. It's Blanca? Is it Blanca? Yeah. It is Blanca, Tony. Hell yeah. Well, man, I'm excited to see how much fun we have here with the Street Fighters. This yeah. should be... Jesus. I, n I, never, you. I never really played that much Street Fighter, but I guess you guys will remind me of uh, what I forgot well, about. Well, Ryu usually has more muscles than that, but... <laughs> and Red Band is on a keto diet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The Street Fighter versus the Meat Fighter Whoa, over here. I like that. Pure keto over here. So I don't know. Maybe we should. Uh, maybe we should uh, uh, explain the show a little bit more. <laughs> Another few minutes. Josh, can you hear me? Josh, can you hear me? And God, I can hear him talking back there. That he can't hear me because he's talking about something. Anyway, uh, so we have a fun show here. This isn't even everything. It's not over yet, people. In fact, we haven't even begun. Over uh, 40 or 50 comedians signed their names for the chance to do 60 seconds on this stage tonight. You know their time is up when you hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. Man, sounds furious tonight. And then we interview you and talk with you about your life or anything else that's going on that uh, we might find interesting about you. Um, what does that say? Oh, okay, perfect. What do you guys say uh, we go through one before our guest arrives? Would that be okay? Yeah. See what happens? It's like a Kill Tony Road show. No guests. Well, we did have Andy Kindler on that Fort Wayne episode, oh, and God, let me tell you something. So good. Holy shit. That fucking guy's hilarious. Make sure you uh, go back and listen to Fort Wayne. If you like jokes, you'll love that episode. All right, you guys ready to start this thing? I pulled a name out of the fucking bucket. It's about to go down. Put your hands together for an uninterrupted 60 seconds from Tatenda Mudsy. Tatenda. That name sounds familiar. Hello, hello. How's it going? I'm from uh, Zimbabwe. Coming to LA, I didn't realize how behind the times we are in my country. Like uh, things that are still big in the 90s, like that were big in the 90s here, are huge over there. Like people in Zimbabwe love Jean Claude Van Damme. You know what I mean? They're still doing like the double punch. Like, they love Jean-Claude Van Damme, right? So things that were big in the 90s here are still big over there, like AIDS, for example. We used to be big here, not so much. Still big where I'm from. Like, it's, you know, the thing about AIDS that pisses me off, it's like it's the reason why Zimbabwe will never have, like, its own superhero or, like, an action star because the diseases are more important than the people. You know, like, if we were to have an Avengers... It'd be like Captain AIDS, like Iron Deficiency Man, the incredible HIV, Black Widow, whose husband was killed by Captain AIDS. Jesus, I feel like you were just going to keep naming superheroes. Tatenda Mabudzi. So who is the most famous person from Zimbabwe? Uh, probably me. 
Really? Um, <laughs> no. We had there's a singer Oliver Mutukudzi who's pretty famous. Oliver uh, Mutukudzi. Yeah. Um, I wonder I what his music. There's a, yeah. Like. There's like what's th- his music sound like? <laughs> Is that him? Uh, <laughs> honestly, I couldn't tell you. Uh, no, there's Danai Gurira from uh, Walking Dead and Black Panther, and oh. uh, Tongai Teresa from uh, the Jim Gaffigan show, and Sibong do people Do people watch TV a lot in Zimbabwe? Is that a, a popular thing? Yeah, they Is do. Is it mostly American TV, or...? Uh, it's a mix. There's uh, American TV, a lot of British stuff, a lot of stuff from Canada for some reason. Oh. And uh, I know. And Probably because uh, it's cheap. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> this and there's some like African shows. At any as well. given time in Canada, it's just four channels of those wacky, uh, wacky bench moving shows. Like you know, it's like whoa, people like slipping on oh, banana peels syrup. and shit. Uh, sure. Anyway. Uh, you always wear your sunglasses on your collar like that? Looks uh, pretty apparently, cool. it just kind of happens. I, yeah, sometimes I do that. How long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about seven years. Seven, seven years. Yeah. How much here in L.A.? Um, probably like six months between the time... Because I was in Zimbabwe for a while making a film. And back in... Uh, I was in New York City doing some stand-up and then back in L.A. for a bit as well. How old were you when you moved out of Zimbabwe? Uh, 18. What are some of the scariest animals that you've encountered in Zimbabwe? Um, <laughs> they have crazy animals over there? Like no, I mean, I live in yeah. the suburbs, so not really. Uh, you lived in the su- subway? Suburbs. Oh. oh, no, we don't have a subway. That's yeah. Not no. even the sandwich shop? Uh, no. Really? That's an American chain. It's, a, it's global. I mean, probably not in Zimbabwe. I know you yeah, guys no. probably have, like, food shortages and everything, so it's probably hard to upkeep a Zimbabwe there. Hey, look, everybody. It's our guest, Russell Peters. Wow. Hey. Fuck yeah. Hi, Russell. Hey, what did I miss? This is Tatenda. He's from Zimbabwe. Hey, it- Tatenda. Hey, how's it going? How nice of you to attend. <laughs> there we go. Russell's right in. Didn't miss a beat. You're all caught up. Uh, we were just talking about crazy you, animals sorry. in Zimbabwe. He well, it's lived Africa, in Z- so you probably got the big five. We have the big five, but like I, like I said, I, oh, I'm what sure are you the have bi- a big what, nine. What <laughs> <laughs> What's the big five? Is that like a basketball team or something? Um, oh, that's well, it's, big it's, it's like so. a lion, elephant, elephant giraffe, gira- rhino, rhino, buffalo, I think. No, not buffalo. Are you sure I grew you're up African? In, yeah. I, <laughs> I grew up and, in the suburbs. And though. Crips. <laughs> <laughs> what are um, the suburbs of Zimbabwe like compared to the city? Uh, the um, suburbs are South Africa, <laughs> Mozambique. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty accurate, actually. It, 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 they look actually a lot like L.A. We have jacaranda trees, you know, the trees with the purple leaves, flowers. Same kind of trees. We don't call them that here. Huh. We call them purple You probably trees. call them purple blossoms or whatever. Oh. Yeah. Man. Even your trees are darker than ours. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. Um, I mean, I have, though I did go on a safari once um, in South Africa, and we saw these, like, really white, li- like albino lions, basically. There's, like, a whole compound of them. Hmm. What were they doing? Ruling over the darker ones? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, just, like, actually, they were just, like, running Imposing around. Imposing their will. <laughs> their lion religions. <laughs> <laughs> running free while the darker ones were in cages? Uh, no, actually, it's, actually <laughs> when you go in there, you enter the cage as well. Like, it's a big compound. I, too, have They're living well. in South Africa. Which one did you go to? Um, I think it's called... Lis- was it? It's by Lissetti, I think. I can't remember Is the name of it. Is it near Joburg, Cape Town, Durban? Outside of Joburg. Outside of Joburg. Like, so Joburg? Been- Wait, what? <laughs> oh, f- I forgot the green guy was. W- weren't you weren't you on the show last week in whiteface? Uh, yeah, it took a chance. We remember. Yeah, I was just ignoring it, giving you a fresh shot. <laughs> That's how nice of a guy I am, trying to erase <laughs> the memories of that bomb fest that was just hey, last week. I'm sad I missed his set. He li- well was it. No good? This one was good, but oh, last okay, good. week he did something in whiteface. He took two it's surgical masks and put them on his it face. It was an experiment, you know. It was something. definitely an experiment. <laughs> uh, but you're much likable being yourself. Anyway, Tatenda, we're going to move on quickly because Russell just got here and I want to uh, have a little restart and have him see somebody fresh. So there he cool. goes, Tatenda Mabudzi. Up last week, very lucky guy. This guy's been on like three times in four or five weeks. 
Russell, welcome to the show. Hi, Tony. Russell sorry, Peters I'm, is sorry here, I'm everyone. Late. No, we love it. Whatever it takes to get you, buddy. Uh, glad you're back. It's been a while. And uh, the, the band is Street Fighter tonight. Ah. I don't know if you noticed. I, I noticed that. You ever play the game Street Fighter? Of course. That's Ryu, right? <laughs> and then that's, uh, what was the other guy's name? Luke? That's, like, that's uh, Ellen DeGeneres down That's correct. That's 90s Ellen DeGeneres. Yeah. Ken? Ken. And that's Blanca. That's Ken. Hey, yeah, right. Russell got it. I love it. Uh, you guys ready to keep this thing moving along? You get it, right? Uninterrupted 60 seconds, and then we talk to you afterwards. Anything can happen. Put your hands together for Brandon Jordan. Here we go. I'm not seeing movement. Oh, no. Oh, he's over here. Hey, here he is, Brandon Jordan. What's up, y'all? I'm, my name is Brandon Jordan. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Anybody been to Detroit before? Why, why did y'all go? I can't wait to get out of Detroit, man. Since I was a little kid, I always wanted to move to L.A. Been a Laker fan all my life. You know, Nick Van Exel, Eldon Campbell, Eddie Jones, you know, them days. Moved to L.A. I've been here six months, man. And L.A. is some bullshit. <laughs> I already got $1,500 in parking tickets. Got my car towed twice, and I stay in a 350-square-foot studio apartment for $1,200 a month with a roommate. <laughs> I didn't realize how much of a king I was in Detroit. In Detroit, I had a two-bedroom apartment, wood floors, washer and dryer for $300 a month. Even the girl across the hall would let me hit sometimes when her boyfriend went to work. All right, I'm Brandon. Hell yeah, Brandon Jordan. Damn, here, step up to the mic. So, Brandon, that's all true? Yeah, that's all true. And, wow. Brandon, what time did you finish your shift at Shake Shoes? <laughs> <laughs> Five o'clock. Because <laughs> you're still wearing your work shirt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Brandon, 1200 for a studio apartment with the roommate? Mm -hmm. You guys splitting rent? Yep. That's why you have a roommate. Tony, he said 1200 Oh. Yeah, Twelve hundred. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> it's 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 slightly more manageable than hundred. Yeah, what do you what do you do for a living, Brandon? I'm a manager at Chic Shoes. <laughs> Wait a second. You, you really do do that? Is Th that a joke? He's wearing his it's fucking shirt. shirt right? oh. oh I didn't realize you were Look allowed to wear Look at the back of the shirt. I didn't realize it's they were allowed to wear sweatpants at that place. It's a, I, I love that place. Store. store. That's a good Damn. store. <laughs> I've never been there. I'll I be am honest. a I am a manager at kicking ass. And yes, I work full time. <laughs> Finish him. <laughs> Different video game jerk. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Brandon, how long you been working at the shoe place? Almost four years. Almost four years, yeah. and you transfer. So you transferred from the Detroit location to LA. Well, well no, actually, uh, I started working in Detroit, mm -hmm. and um, at Shake Shoes. At, yeah, Shake Shoes, and um, after a while, they transferred me. So I didn't move to a couple different cities. That's how I ended up in LA. Um, the store I managed in Texas closed down, and they moved me out here. Wait, Texas closed down, but Detroit didn't. Yeah, Detroit closed down too. Okay, but yeah, I left that makes Detroit sense. before they closed it down. Mm -hmm. Okay, Let's mm -hmm. check. That's how I met. That's where I met you. How'd you meet me? At, um, down in, uh, in uh, Fort Worth. Oh, Hyenas. okay. Oh, all right. Yep. And I what did... part of Detroit you from? Eastside, Seven Mile and Ryan. You familiar with uh, Seven Mile and Gratiot? Yes, I am. I used to go shopping there at G7 Menswear. Oh, okay. You know that spot? Yeah, I know. It's run by the Koreans. They have fake everything. Yeah, fake everything. Yeah. That's before I had money, I bought that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what, would you, uh, what would you do for fun in Detroit that you can't do here? Dodge bullets. <laughs> unless I <laughs> you could do that unless, here you could do that here too unless you go to Compton you know but uh, in Detroit uh, casinos ah uh, we have the Motown we got real, casino we got real casinos in Detroit yeah well I mean you can go to Windsor and get the real ones too yeah that's true but and you could no, also it's drink none, it's none in LA so. what would you play at the casinos roulette wow that's my, yeah, that's my game right there you, would you play the same numbers every time or yep. would you same yeah. numbers what are the numbers 7, 21 uh, 5 20, uh, 14. Those That's almost all the numbers. <laughs> yep. 7 and 21 are two of my top five favorites. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, so, Brandon, now that you're here in L.A., uh, you've been doing more stand-up? Yeah, I've been doing more stand-up. Right, a lot yeah. of open mics. Open mics, some shows, too. You making friends with other comedians? Yeah, I had some friends before I moved out here, too, so that made the transition easier. Okay. Um, how far along the transition are you? Uh, you still have the uh. goatee. Yeah. <laughs> and I could tell since you're wearing sweatpants, you have a dick and balls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... All right, Brandon. What you else? Know, um, Is that true that you used to have sex with the chick across the hall? Yeah, it's true. Wow. How's mm -hmm. your How's the uh, game with the ladies been it's, going since you're moving? It started. Back? It started off. She called me one day. She was like, "Hey, what you doing?" I'm like, "Nothing." You want to eat some pussy? <laughs> I was like, "I ain't got shit else to do, so let's go." Wow. Did you, you ask her what what the what was for dessert? <laughs> 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 you want to eat some pussy? What you got for dessert? <laughs> Because I'm lactate intolerant. <laughs> That's crazy. Because she was lactating. <laughs> <laughs> how did it was, she it have the titties? Uh, how did she have your number? Oh, uh, we had. She had. We. She actually worked for a similar company at the time. I was working for Little Caesars at the time. Mm -hmm. Lucky. And first of all, I didn't know you had all these great corporate jobs. But uh, I didn't. <laughs> I, I didn't had about over thirty jobs in my life. But so you she, worked at Little Caesars, and she was hot and ready. And 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 five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> and wow. so she worked for an, another uh, company. But then he turned it down and said, for. "No, I'm more of a meat lover." <laughs> <laughs> Ryu is throwing shots from right. I do not trust a man who lays with another man's wife. <laughs> <laughs> was she uh, white or black? She was black. She was black. And then you went over there. <laughs> Damn, Aphrodite's in the house. Just cheering for random uh, things. Angie uh, Stone's happy. <laughs> <laughs> so you went over there, you ate her pussy. Mm -hmm. How long would you say you ate it for? Probably about 10, 15 minutes. I like eating pussy. So. And then what happened? <laughs> you you ate it for 10 or 15 you minutes, ate 10, 15. And, and then, then what? Did, did you let her... What? Oh, then I hit. Oh, yeah, you gave her your uh, city. Yeah. And the then D. after, did you yeah, say, I did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> what did... <laughs> What did her husband do for work? Do you know? Uh, I don't know. I never even met him. Really? Never met him. But he lived yeah. across the hall, he lived too? Across the hall. I used to see him. I see him walk past, but I never really speak to him. I bet. <laughs> you should have just walked up to him and burped in his face. <laughs> <laughs> that smells familiar. I can't put my tongue on it. Hey, my man, I want to holler at you. <laughs> Burp. <laughs> <laughs> man, that's crazy. What did she do? She worked at Little Caesars with you? No, nah, she worked at another uh, a company that I was trying to work for because I was trying to leave Little Caesars, mm -hmm. and that's how we ended up changing numbers. Domino's. So she was trying to help me out. Damn. No. <laughs> well, I love it, man. Uh, fun times. Welcome to L.A. Mm -hmm. um, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, hard road coming from Detroit to here, and I'm glad that everything is working out for you. We met yeah. him here for the first time. That's Brandon Jordan, everybody. Brandon there he goes. Jordan. He's on B Original Comedy. B Original Comedy. But it's just the letter, so if you spell it out, it's B Original Comedy. Not Ab Original. No. It's actually at B Original Comedy. <laughs> yeah. B Original, the letter B. And Tatenda is at T-A-1-O-D-A. And your next comedian goes by the name of Mark Walker. Mark Walker. I don't see movement tonight. Mark Walker? Oh, I don't see anyone coming listed. towards us. Uh, no. Get out of here. Well, 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 why don't you look at that? It's last time this young lady was on this show, she absolutely destroyed. She had her best set ever on this show. I don't want to raise the expectations too much. She is a legend here on Kill Tony, 62 fucking years old. She shows up every week. You know her, you love her. It's Aphrodite! <laughs> Come on, make some noise, everybody. Aphrodite. How y'all doing? Right now, I'm hornier than the Catholic priest. I'm hornier than the Catholic priest. It's been months now. 
I see these good-looking black men, you know, the ones that about something that our sisters would like to date. They said they only date white women. Giving all that black dick to white women. <laughs> you know, brothers get successful. They want some of that Ku Klux Klan pussy. <laughs> oh, yeah. They want some of that Emmett Till get your black ass killed pussy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just want to tell the brothers of PCA announcement when that white cop pull your black ass over, you better tell them you're driving Miss Daisy. You better tell them you're a motherfucking Uber driver. Because he find out you fucking that white woman, your ass is going to get laid out! Damn. Yeah. Aphrodite. Thank you. Aren't you just the most special goddamn thing in the world? <laughs> How long has it been since you started stand-up? Almost two years now. Two years, and yeah. y- and you've been doing this show off. Uh, you've been signing up off and on for two years. Yes, yeah, almost. And two you years. are a perfect example of someone that we have literally only watched get better. It is one of the coolest things, you know. Yeah. Just Thank working you. beats. You started this late. You're having fun with it. You're showing up. You're learning. You're listening. You know. You're having fun with it. Always smiling every damn Monday. Oh, wow. And it's just so cool to watch you. You know. I mean, you were working beats up there. You know, it wasn't necessarily you know a slaughter fest, but there you are trying new stuff, taking chances, and doing it all with that sweet, sweet yeah. fat ass. Look at that fucking thing. Ah. My God, I just can't help you know, myself. I just want to know all these young people. I'm tired of these young motherfuckers. They ain't got all their ass. No, you're yeah. damn right. No. What's the name? Lance, Nikki Lalaji, ain't they? They ain't got all the ass. No. Nah. This is real ass. This ain't no, you know, <laughs> that's that cornbread and Earl ass. Hey! That's that cornbread and Earl ass, you know what I'm saying? That fucking thing is unbelievable. Ryu is completely erect right now. <laughs> For those of you listening to the podcast, his dick has a red ribbon tied at the yes. top of it. I just hadouken my pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just don't believe you have to look like an old person just because you're in your 60s. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. You have one of the youngest spirits. I feel like a, a lot of people try to come up here and pretend to be wiser and older than they are. And then there's you just fucking... Ass backwards. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, the ass is actually in the right place. <laughs> Figuratively. Yeah, thanks to my grandmother, she had that astronomical ass, okay? Oh, shit, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. So your grandma had a fat ass, too, Oh, huh? my daddy's mom, she had no breasts, but she had that big Jedi booty. Wow. Jedi? Jedi you, booty. You a Star well, Wars The thing? ass jets out and come back in. <laughs> oh, And you got top and bottom, yeah. so you're good. Oh, this is my mama up here. Well... Hello, Mom. Yeah, 82. Um, She's 86, and she got bigger titties than the women with the implants and shit. Daddy, how long has uh, McDonald's been dressing you? (laughs) Somebody said you were going to say that if I got on tonight. You better catch up. Somebody said that. (laughs) Just by looking at you, I know what you like on your hot dog. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Mostly relish. I'm about to get me some, though. The muscle man is back. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Jedi ass is... uh... It's weird that your grandma had a Jedi ass because you have the Darth Vader helmet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So do I. Talk about dark. I told you. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I'm selling afros to white people, 29 out of 5, okay? Hell, yeah. Yeah. Every, everything else in life been good? Oh, what, do you, what, are you doing? what do you do on the other days? I see you every Monday night. You always make a point to say hello. You're always positive and fun. Yes. And uh, what, what, do you, what does Tuesday through Sunday look like for Aphrodite? Well, I have different things to do. Yeah. Yeah, I've uh, done some other mics as well. Yeah, um, well, about, other than mics and other than music, we know that you sing. What yeah. else, though? Shows what? are coming up. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know, we know, we know. But I'm talking okay. about other stuff. <laughs> okay. Like what stuff other than art? Like what, else, what do you like to do when you're just well, chilling? I'm, or... I'm really an artist at heart. I like to write. I have a second book I'm working on. That I think you're missing the question here. Okay, other tell than, me again. Other English than, other than anything that has to do with art <laughs> okay. or plugging anything. Okay. Uh, what else do you do? You like to watch TV? You well, like... no, actually, I don't watch TV. I study Asian Egypt history. I love studying history. How do you do that? You read books? I, I go get books from the library, and I look at a lot of documentaries. I love everything about Asian Egypt. Really? Aliens, all that kind of stuff is cool. Oh. Well, hold on. No. Sounds like I'm you're an alien, the history okay. channel. <laughs> yeah, the ancient, Anunnaki's, all that stuff. Have you ever heard stuff. of a show called Ancient Aliens? <laughs> oh, I, I think I'll watch anything if you refer me to it. I love reading. No, don't watch it. It's dumb. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 
that's why I spend a lot of time reading, watching stuff. I go out. I like to observe people. It helps me with material and writing songs, everything. I like real people. You What's know. a cool fun fact that you've learned from about ancient Egypt that you could share with us? Um, that By the way, I know for a fact that the pyramids are wondering how your ass was built. <laughs> That's true. It was actually astronomical, okay? <laughs> Aphrodite, you good already things. did that joke. Okay. Well, you made me go there, okay? But anyway, what I like about the ancient Egyptians, some of the smartest people that ever was on the planet. A lot of people, unfortunately, are racist. They don't want to know that black people came here first. Sorry. But it's true. Oh, and we shit. came from aliens. That's how we built the fucking pyramids. Seriously. Well, uh, our kitchen staff Seriously. came from illegal aliens. Go look up the Anunnaki's. This is some cool <laughs> shit, y'all. Everybody will. Everybody's black anyway, so it's Did no problem. Did you say the anal, <laughs> Anunnaki's? The Anunnaki's. A-N-N-U-N-A-K-I. Anunnaki's. All right. Damn. Anunnaki's, motherfucker. Well, I mean, that's Sphinx. <laughs> Man, uh, after They cool, Heidi. though. They cool. Aphrodite, that is so cool. So we learned something here tonight. Yeah. You had a fun set. You're smiling. You. you had fun again. Yes. I absolutely love your passion for this show. It, oh, uh, I love you, Tony. You are my best teacher. You really wow. are. Wow. Look at that. Really there you go. Yes. I and love uh, you. congratulations. And I love everybody uh, here. You guys don't know. It means so much to be in my okay, 60s. Okay, okay, yeah. Aphrodite. I, I love you, too. You're the best. And my ass loves you, too. Okay. Oh, shit. And in congr- that case. <laughs> Congratulations on your mom's Nefertiti. Yes. No stuff is no feelings. This is grease made. Grease. All right, Aphrodite. There she goes. Thank 62 you. years old. The great Aphrodite, everybody. She's on Twitter at Aphrodite Love. That's spelled A-F-R-O-D-Y-E-T-E-L-O-V-E. That's fun, right? People of all shapes and sizes. I would like to hit her sphinxster. <laughs> really, Jeremiah? All right, this young lady's been on before. It was very funny. Put your hands together for Rachel Wolfson. <laughs> What's up? I was, uh, I was a big tomboy growing up. Now they call it transgender. (laughs) I feel like my mom made my sister and I ugly on purpose because that was her form of birth control. Um, Like, I was completely unfuckable as a child. That's good news. I I had a mullet. Sometimes I wonder... um, no, no one wants to fuck a kid with a mullet, let's be honest. Like, no one, that's... But, like, sometimes I wonder if they would have tried, like, if someone would have tried to fuck me because my mom's a judge. She put O.J. Simpson in prison. So, basically, O.J. Simpson got sent to prison by the same woman who sent me to my room. <laughs> but we got out. <laughs> that's <laughs> There you go. Man, that's crazy that your mom's a judge. Vegas? Born and raised. Judy? Jackie. (laughs) Judge Jackie. She's like the Jewish judge. uh, Judge Judy. Judy. You can't get much Jewier than Judge Judy. She's like younger and more boneable. So she really doesn't like baloney. I'd bone Judy. (laughs) If I remember correctly, she worked on the O.J. Simpson trial. Is that that right? She put him in prison. Yeah, put him in prison. That's sweet. Yeah. (laughs) She definitely just said that during her, uh, <laughs> during her set. Right. My uh, I wasn't paying attention. It's okay. I like your style. You remind me if there was a female silent Bob. Thank you. Yeah. He made a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, he did. That's one <laughs> way of looking at it. Fuck <laughs> yeah. He made a lot of money. Uh, and so how long have you been doing stand-up? Almost two years. All here in L.A.? Correct. How old are you? Old enough to know better. Wow. Uh-huh. I'm 31. Okay. Okay, Sly answers <laughs> from uh, Rachel today. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, right now, I'm looking for another job. I'm like professionally mm-hmm. looking for another job. Okay, <laughs> there you go. No, I, sm- I smoke weed for a living. Wow, That's cool. I street fight to the death. <laughs> yeah. Didn't I see you couldn't get into like a club recently because you had like a jar yeah. this big in your purse of Vegas, weed? Yeah, like if Vegas is not like always 420 friendly. I, I, <laughs> I tried to get into the club. 
the guy checks my bag and he's like, nope, that's not allowed here. And I was like, fuck. I was denied. I was like, I didn't want to be, it's not my scene. I didn't want to be here anyways. What club was it? It was, uh, they just opened up a new club at the top of the Palms. Mm -hmm. It's called Apex Social Club. (laughs) (sighs) But you can't be bringing that much weed and be social. No, they're they're like, no weed, (laughs) just all the other drugs. I was like, you're a racist against weed. Do you always travel with that much weed, though? Don't you just just carry a joint? I I forgot. I had a giant jar, didn't take it out, thought maybe they were cool. How big is this jar? This it was like it was like up to half half the water bottle filled with weed, so it was big. big enough. What type I pictured of a fucking Costco mayo mayo. No, stuff. it was a mason it was a mason That's jar. Right. It was like a jar you get at like fucking world world's best furniture. I don't so know. So what type of job are you looking for? <sighs> something that'll pay me during the day so I can do this at night. So when you say something that'll pay you during the day, like what type of job are you looking for? I mean I'd prefer to keep my clothes on. Like, is that on. what you Google when you're looking for employment? <laughs> like, Something during day to pay keep for nighttime. My clothes on and still. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the good strippers don't work in the day, so don't. Have yeah, to worry for about sure, that. you're right. But like, they do have day strippers. No, they do, but it's like a day shift. I mean, it's. You're right. You, you know. don't think I could get the day shift? I mean, do you want it? You're the. Daughter you're right. Of a I want to make money, but yeah. I can't yeah. be a day stripper. Yeah, it's you, that you get the get to sit in the C section. It's all nice. I don't want to be. Yeah, I don't want to be a second string stripper. I want if I were to. So, like, what type of job might you be looking for? <laughs> uh, I guess uh, a serving job. Something. How about like in the entertainment business? Like there. I would. I would like to get like a writer's job. Like a oh, yeah. in a writer's room. I'd like to get in a writer's room. Any I, would, I would give it some time. Yeah, yeah let's right. go um, back to the possibility <laughs> of serving. So, uh, have you applied anywhere? Uh, I have. I've, 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 I've applied. I've reapplied to a job that I no longer work at. Like that's how I was like, maybe they'll let me come back and forget. No, the coffee uh. bean never forgets. <laughs> <laughs> I'll well, try Starbucks. <laughs> uh, were you fired from that job, or did you quit that job? Uh. The one that you fired myself. For. Yeah, no, I, I just like, I just like, I'm not gonna come back f- for like forever until I might need to come. You back. You took a leave of absence yeah. without telling them. Basically, I took a sabbat. Is it a sabbatical? A sabbatical. Yeah. yeah. Man, you like, if you're are gonna be a writer. You're gonna need s- to know sabbatical. Yeah, I think. It's gonna uh, be what about a sabbatical? <laughs> what about working at a dispensary? I did. I was working at a dispensary. They cut my hours. I was like, that's not how it's supposed to work. I bet that's what everybody that gets their hours <laughs> cut at a dispensary <laughs> says. That's People at McDonald's that get their hours cut yeah. say the same thing. I'm like, what? What about like McDonald's or Burger King? I'm overqualified. I should just lie. I mean, you don't look 31, so you could like Thank just you. be like... I still I, have time. There's yeah. still hope for me. Yeah. IHOP? Yes, what about is. IHOP? Yes. IHOP. IHOP. Here, here's the thing. You want to go to places where you're going to meet people. IHOP is where IHOP's I should go. IHOP's a good place because that's oh where God. like a lot of people go and they think it's under the radar. Are those the right kind of people I should be meeting? The IHOP. I don't go there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do go there. <laughs> is I too live in Vegas, by the way. You too live. What part? In Henderson. Oh, weird. I've heard of that place. I live on the other side. Summerlin. Yeah. In the better that's part of town. That's my hood. You're in the better part of town. Yeah, for sure. What is uh, what is your professional judge mother think about your uh, lack of focus in pot smoking? <laughs> because to be honest with you, I'm very disappointed, and I just met you. Listen, you should call my mom. She would share. She would share the uh, the concern. I feel. I I feel the concern. But Isn't weed supposed to make you focus? <laughs> But not yeah. as much as she smokes. She smokes from like when she wakes up to goes and goes to bed like all I day mean, long. I mean, I had only one like three joints today. I'm fine. When do you start? The second you wake up? Not today. It depends on the day. Some days I smoke more. Some days I smoke less. Some days I have just one joint. Like, I think people think I'm just like chiefing all like 24. You know, Red Band thinks I am. Just, I mean, this girl never puts chiefing. down the pipe. <laughs> okay. Well, chiefing. I don't smoke. I don't know. Oh. You've never smoked weed? I, I did. I didn't like it. Okay. It wasn't for me. I feel no, like. It's not that I'm against it. I just it didn't work for me. Cocaine I like alcohol. is cool too. I'm a jerk. I like alcohol. What do you want from me? Yeah, Russell went the more whole, like, career direction. Uh. (laughs) Stupid, right? I know. (laughs) All right, Rachel. Well, uh, we'll get an update next time you're on. Fun stuff tonight. There she goes, Rachel Wolfson. She's on Twitter at Wolfie Comedy. All right. We're We're having fun. 
Ryu, how you doing over there? Good. All right. It's ladies' night here on Kill Tony. Put your hands together for Veronica Kwiatkowski. That's definitely a new name. Here she comes. Look at that. Pretty sure it's her first time on Kill Tony. Put it together for Veronica Kwiatkowski. Um, are you guys all familiar with the popular poultry franchise Hooters? Yeah? Okay, so get this. Apparently, to get hired at Hooters, the way that it works is you go down there and they have you stand right up against a wall. And if your boobs touch the wall before your nose does, then hooray. <laughs> You're hired at Hooters. Which is cool. It's kind of like their way of saying, Hooters, we don't hire Jews. It's not Hooters. <laughs> I don't work at Hooters, I work in an office. Um, and it's like a pretty standard office job kind of setup. Like I just sit in a cubicle and like use the word bandwidth a lot. <laughs> I know the cubicles get kind of a bad rep, but honestly, I don't mind it at all. Like I actually can't think of a more perfect place to just sit and silently cry between the hours of nine to five. <laughs> but it's okay, because I keep a cup underneath my face to kind of collect all the tears. And then I use that to water the plant at my desk. Visionary, I know. I love. Oh, I'm done. <laughs> there you go, Veronica Kwiatkowski. This is your first time on the show, right? Yes. How long have you been doing stand up? I mean, like year two. Year two, yeah. all here in LA. Yeah. This is where you're from. I'm from San Diego. San Diego. Yes. How long has it been since you moved here? I've been here for six years. I went to school here, and I just kind of stayed. Where'd you go? UCLA. What'd you study? Economics. And what do you do now? What'd you say you do? For a job. Yeah. I write podcast ads. Oh. You do what? Yeah, I you write. Have you ever written one for Kill Tony? What's that? Have you ever written one for this one? No, I don't think you're on our network. Um, Ooh. What's your, what, oh, oh. <laughs> no. Well, no, you sorry. must not have four hymns. <laughs> yeah, you must not be working with ZipRecruiter, for hymns.com, yeah. Blue Smartest Apron. Oh, you do work with them. Well, so do I. Yeah, I work at Stitcher, and then we just, all the ads that come in. Oh, I like. Stitcher. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's fun. That's good. I just like making Stitcher. sure you weren't hating on us No, not second. at all, not at all. <laughs> anyway, uh... That's it's interesting set, that actually. you write them because they sort of say put it in your own words, right? Yeah, they'll send us stuff and we just try to make it like as not bad as you can. Right. Um, <laughs> and sort of give guiding questions to help people ad lib. Because a lot of hosts are not funny. A lot of podcasts are. Right. I mean, they're great. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Thank you. We've been doing <laughs> this do for over job. five years. Yeah. Thanks, Veronica. <laughs> I really needed your validation. You know, you're welcome. Uh, I, like th I think you're doing great, Tony. <laughs> Thank you, Russell. <laughs> Um, I, I like your pants. They are good you. for fighting. Thanks. <laughs> They're very airy. Is, uh, now, have you ever tried to get a job at Hooters before? Is that like something that's real about the nose? and uh, the? I thing? tried, but I failed the nose test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me I too. Never, I would never. Are you Jewish? I am. Yeah. Right. Uh, what do your parents do? My dad's a psychiatrist. Uh oh Keeping in the Jewish fashion. Um, yeah. My mom doesn't work. She's thriving. All right. Yeah. Is your dad Polish? Yes. Like real or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like American. We were like Holocaust escape Polish. So not really. Yeah, no. Does he try to be <laughs> your psychiatrist and solve your problems a lot? Um, kind of, yeah. Is he that actually, annoying? Does he always have you lay down on the couch and shit? Yeah, my house is just couches. That's all it is. We don't <laughs> wow. have a floor. Man. Just it, couch to couch. They still live in San Diego? They do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he still practice? Yeah. Is he getting better? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. What do you do for fun? Um, I like to watch TV. Right. Wow, I'm not, cool! I'm not interesting, sorry. No, I like to, do, yeah, watch TV. You have any special out. skills or hobbies or talents or anything like that? Um, I'm really good at jigsaw puzzles. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'm getting hard. Go I on. know. I just outed <laughs> myself as having no friends. Um, jigsaw puzzles? Yeah, I have no friends at all. I just sit at home and I... Do you live by yourself? You d yes, with wow. my puzzles. Do you have any cats? No, I don't. No pets? No pets. How about a puzzle of a cat? I should get one. If you had to guess how many puzzles you do a year, what would that number be? Oh, fuck. Um, you seem puzzled by this. <laughs> <laughs> Just take a guess. Ballpark it. 20. Wow. Yeah, 20 puzzler. puzzles a yeah. year. When's the last time you, uh, you have a boyfriend? No. Well, how long has it been <laughs> since you had a boyfriend? Uh, like nine months. Nine months. You're yeah. still picking up the pieces? Yes. We're <laughs> putting them back together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
What happened in your relationship? Like, why'd you guys break up? He was like, all you do is puzzles and you don't pay attention to me. <laughs> no, seriously, why'd you guys break up? It just wasn't right. It just wasn't working. No. What did he do for work? Uh, he works in music. Oh. Like, like, what do you mean he works in music? He's a DJ. Like a radio <laughs> DJ or like a club like, DJ? Like a real DJ or, yeah, yeah so. push I play? I didn't really listen to music. But he likes you don't it. listen to music? <laughs> Not his music. I was like, yeah. What was he playing? Like the... Like, oots, oots, yeah. oots. Yeah, yeah no. that's no good. Ah. I prefer silence and puzzles. Wow. I mean, your last yeah. name's Kwiatkowski. I exactly, mean. yeah. That is incredible. Yeah. Puzzles was your second thing to TV. Wow. Yeah, I feel like I made myself like so unthoughtful. I think I what do she does is like, no, you're you're an attractive woman. Thank you. But, um, Just with boring interests. Uh, but there's a difference between attractive and sexy. But I mean, you're attractive. Thanks. I mean, <laughs> like you're like you walk in, you go, oh, it's a very attractive woman. Thanks what do so you do? Much. Puzzles and TV. Oh, here. Yeah. Like I, I know, I know. Yeah. I'm aware. It's okay. The boner but that destroyer. doesn't mean you can't fix it. I well, mean, you know. You can try. It's true. <laughs> Put the puzzle down. <laughs> Maybe if they hire me at Hooters, I'll, I'll gain some status. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. We don't, you, you don't need to be slutty. You just, you What's something wild about you? We know that you like to watch TV, do puzzles. What's something that we'd be surprised about? Like, I, you, I mean, you got to have something. I know a lot of, uh, I've met a few, you know, in my days here in L.A. I've hung out with a couple Jewish girls that seem innocent and sweet, and it turns out there's a fucking wild mm-hmm. side, right? What's something like that for yeah, you? Do you think there is that, just before you answer this? I don't I'm so, this is my wild thing for people, but here it's not exciting, so I don't, I don't know. Sorry. She's the kind of girl you marry. Yeah, no. yeah she that's seems like a great that's person. Not, that's not um, like, are you, you know. kidding me? I'd kill myself after 20 <laughs> minutes. I'd be so fucking bored. I know, I know. <laughs> you would actually kill Tony? <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. That's like the kind of girl you look for that you never find, you know? Yeah. N- no, then, that's the know, kind of girl you look for, right? right. Uh. <laughs> and she, uh, and she, she registers at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> I mean... I love it. Well, Veronica, it was very nice to meet you. you. Uh, so there she goes. Her first time on Kill Tony. Veronica Calday. K-A-L-L-D-A-Y. All one word. All right. She's cool. Oh, look at Brian getting the last word on Veronica. Uh, I don't know if you heard me the other night. I said she's cool while you Red were walking Day, back Red to Man's your birthday seat. the other day, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. All right. This looks like another new name. Put your hands together for Karina Segun. Seguno? Seguna? Karina. If there's a Karina, it's you. Here she comes. What? All women. One more time for Karina, everybody. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm really stupidly insecure about some shit. Uh, I don't like dancing in the club and a song about a big butt comes on. Uh, anytime Sir Mix-a-Lot comes on, I'm like, uh, it seems like a good time to go to the bathroom. Because the minute I do this, some guys will be like, hey, sit down. This song is not for you. I'm like, you know what? I'm shaking what my mama gave me, you know? He's like, well, your mama's stingy. Yeah. Well, her mama was stingy, and I'm going to just keep going. Because it's like that song, when you're happy and you know it, comes on. You clap even though you're still miserable. That's me. I just shake my ass even though I ain't got it. Uh, that's all I got. Oh, my God. <laughs> So nervous. You got it. That's a minute. Hi, Karina. Hi. This is your first time this on the show. This is my show. first time. Look at you. You're just adorable. How old are you? Um, I look 12, but I'm 28. Wow. Yeah. 28. You have braces. I know. It's yeah. killer. And glasses. It's you really better brace yeah, yourself for this interview. Yeah. It's, hel- <laughs> it's helping my dating life. It's Hell great. yeah. 28 years old with braces. I think that's when the orthodontist recommends it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah. How like much longer you got the braces for? Six more months. Wow. Yeah. You must be excited. So uh, excited. You're going to have an unveiling party? Yeah. There's going to be a selfie post for mm-hmm. sure Hell yeah. on Instagram. A little quinceanera or something yeah. like that. <laughs> that's next year. 
<laughs> yeah. Two years, so I have a double pin I got a slow clap. <laughs> yeah, this Thank is uh, this is the first time Joel's uh, been here at the same time as Jolina. This is interesting. <laughs> I didn't realize. Anyway, Karina, how long have you been doing stand up? Um, since the end of May. Since the this end year. of May, I guess I'll do the math on this. Two two months. There Two-ish you go. Months. Hell yeah. Where are you from? I'm originally born in Long Beach, but I live in Inland Empire, Claremont. Oh. I have faced many foe in Long Beach. <laughs> LBC, we're pretty tough out there. I have an ex-wife from Upland, so I know all about that area. <laughs> so be Upland, careful. Upland sucks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what made you want to start doing stand-up at 28? Um, well, I usually bartend, and I got some good You look like the bar. That. I know. <laughs> a bar? What's the skinny on that? All right. <laughs> wow, I didn't get that one at all. You look like the bar. What was that? Can you explain that for us? Well, she's skinny. I thought a bar. Oh. And then I asked, what's the skinny on that? Wow. And then, uh, <laughs> Wait, I think he's getting booze, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, <laughs> I did a, not hear the, booze. You, this is a guy that started his career with his own chant, and Funny now you. it's come to this. And you get booze <laughs> from the bartender. <laughs> hey, look at that. It came full circle. Like a bar. Thank anyway. You, Russell. Karina, uh, what do you do for work? Well, I'm a bartender. Get uh, the fuck out of here. What? Hey, you're built like the bar. I know. Right? <laughs> what? What's the skinny on that? Hey. What do you ID yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one, Tony. <laughs> oh, th- oh, thanks, Joel. Hey, this is gonna be—is this the rest of the show? Good hey. one. Hey, Joel. Two guys walk into a carina. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. That's good. I like that one. Ryu? You are all bringing dishonor to your family. <laughs> <laughs> Karina, you are unbelievably funny for only doing this two months. You well, I mean, I've been fighting my whole life, but I decided to make it known for everybody else, you know? Are right. you enjoying your short journey so far? I love it. I fell in love with it. I, start, I did my first open mic um, in May, and... I told myself if I didn't like it, then at least I can say I did it, and I just fell in love with it. You fell in love. So I've been going hard, like three. What are your short-term goals? Like, what's the years you've given yourself a short-term goal? For? Like when um, I started, I said I'll give myself seven years, and here we are, thirty years later, and I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> <laughs> um, I told myself by the end of summer I wanted ten minutes, and I have about eight minutes, and I'm getting there. That's um, good. I would like to be booked on like a show. On a weekend night and not like a Wednesday night. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Don't rush. Yeah, okay. There's no rush. (laughs) Have you thought about IHOP? (laughs) IHOP, yeah. (laughs) I mean, I don't go there. (laughs) So the bar you work at is at the Inland Empire? Is it like a corporate chain or a dive bar? It's a Chili's. Whoa! Whoa. Is that considered a bar? (laughs) Peso dip. Presidentes. What was that? Is that considered a bar? Chili's Bar and Grill. I know, but I don't ever hear, yo, you want to hit the bar? Yeah. Chili's? We got good good happy hour, you know? $5 Presidentes. Come see me. Damn. Yeah. (laughs) Do you free pour at all? We're not allowed to. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Whoa, what? Like a jigger? Whoa. No, it's (laughs) jiggers. You can't say that. Listen, if if a Jewish person hangs around black people, that's not what you call them. Um. (laughs) It's the little thing. You have to measure it out. Depending on if my regulars come in, my hand's heavy. Because yeah. like, my s- arms are so small, so right. the bottle's heavy. Gotcha. Yeah. I see what you did there. I would break you in half. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> you have a boyfriend, Karina? I do. How long have you been with him? Uh, like seven months. Seven months. Ish. Where'd you meet him at? We met on a dating app. Oh, yeah? Bumble. What was the app? Bumble. Bumble. Yeah, so you guys fucked the first night? No. I was, g- I was really good. I waited two weeks. Two wow. Weeks. Yeah. I'm really proud. I'm so proud. Yeah. <laughs> two weeks two for weeks. a Latina girl is like eight years yeah, for a normal I'm human. Not, I'm not Latina at all. No, you're not you? Latina at all? No. Oh, I re- misread this. What are you? No, um, half Sri Lankan and Filipino. Sri Lankan and Filipino? Yeah. So your parents met um, in the Middle East? <laughs> no, they met in New York. In New York. Yeah. Okay. Slow your dad worked in the kitchen. Your mom was a server. Pretty much. Oh. Wow. There you go. <laughs> they made a bartender. Yes, they do. <laughs> they knew. <laughs> Two weeks. I have never met a nun in person. <laughs> Karina, uh, what does he do? He's What's also the boyfriend do? a stand-up comedian. 
Whoa! I mean, Wait a second. It? Hold on. Hold on a second here. here. How long has he been doing stand up? For like two, three years. Oh my God! He's and a vet. So y- I will what? break him Better. in half. He's a vet. <laughs> has he been on the show before? No, this is both our first times here. His, was he up tonight? Yes. I hope so. I hope he picked oh, his name. Oh, he's in the bucket. He was he's Aphrodite. Was <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's get this straight. You've been with him seven months. You've been doing stand-up two months. So you met him. You went to one of his shows. You saw what he was doing. And you're like, I'm funnier than this motherfucker. That's exactly what happened. His best material is me. Wow. Damn. Look at this. That's interesting. It's funny. It took you two weeks to open for him. He's from the Inland Empire, too? Yes, he is, yeah. Wow. How long of a trip did you guys have to make tonight? What is that, like an hour? Yeah, two? about uh, yeah, hour and a half. Wow, hour and a half. And yeah. he's been doing it two or three years, mm-hmm. and you've been doing it two months, and you had a good set. I'm sort of interested to Thank see if this you. guy can follow you. Should we bring up our boyfriend and <laughs> yeah! see? Yeah! Yeah! All right. Why don't, oh, you, uh, w- why don't you just give him a proper introduction? Put the mic back in the mic stand oh, okay. and uh, bring tight, him up. Tight, and tight he'll up. get 60 no, seconds. There you go, there you go. One more time for Karina Sagan, hey. everybody. Hey, All right. Put your hands together for the uh, Fresh Prince of Egypt, everybody. Yeah. Joshua. Wad. Joshua. There you go. Wow. You know what's hard about having a lisp? Is you try to think of words to say that don't have S in them at all. But you're put in situations sometimes. (laughs) That wasn't the joke. (laughs) Like for me, I'm not scared of spiders and snakes. I'm more scared of saying spiders and snakes. I try to think of synonyms for things. If you think of a synonym for synonym, let me know. <laughs> for me, it's never a sofa. It's always a couch. I'm never soaking wet. I'm only covered in water. I don't have sex. I make love. I'm kidding. I, I fuck. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Fuck yeah. Joshua, stay there. That was fucking awesome, Joshua. Good set. Thank you. Thank that you. did not turn out how I thought it was going to yeah, turn Yeah, that was amazing. You <laughs> fucking Fasted. brought the heat. You buried that bitch. Thank you. You're like, two months, no fucking way I'm letting this happen. You think I'm going to oh, let a piece of it. pussy get in my way? <laughs> I have come to the conclusion that men are funnier than women. Damn, Fight Joshua, me. what's your uh, what's your full name? Joshua Awad. Joshua <laughs> Awad. Yeah. Um, so, do you um, go down on him? Have you ever blown a wad? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Damn. Uh-oh. I swallow, okay? I swallow. Whoa, this little slut gets you cum can, stuck can in her concur? braces. She swallow? She, do- <laughs> she doesn't. I don't want to block you, but... It's weird. She's the one that has braces, and you're the one that sounds like you have cotton in your mouth. <laughs> I know. It doesn't help that I have cotton mouth. I see what you did there. Why, <laughs> <laughs> Why the long shirt? Um, That's one okay. of the longest t-shirts I've ever seen in my it's life. A, it's the like longest, a... most wrinkled t-shirt I could find. No, um, this is a tall shirt that my mom got me. She thought it'd be like, I'm going to get you tall shirts. Wow. It's like yeah. a fashion thing now. Yeah. He doesn't uh. call it a shirt. He calls it a blanket. <laughs> so oh. does Michael Jackson. Can, can I take that now? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yes, you may. Uh, right. So, Joshua, uh, yeah. how, do, how, do you like, uh, how do you like doing stand-up? You've been doing it a couple years. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. What else do you do for fun? Uh, for fun, I, I play video games. Uh, I like to edit videos. Yep. Um, Just like so. everybody else that sounds like you. Video games and editing videos. That's exactly yeah, what yeah. I thought you were going to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> what do you do for work? Um, I'm not working right now. Uh -huh. um, I was working in, in post-production, um, working on TV shows, but I wasn't doing anything creative, so I wanted to make the switch. To S nothing? To unemployment? <laughs> what are you planning on switching to? Hopefully this. Like, Full-time stand-up comedy. You're just yeah, I'm going hard. But no that doesn't mean you net. can't edit No, still. no safety net. If you have a safety net, then you have one foot out. Damn, look at that. Yeah. Wow, that's an interesting take on it. Have you been yeah. getting any gigs? Uh, yeah, I've been getting a couple gigs. And you have uh, money saved up from editing and all that? It ran out. Wow, so what are you doing? How are you surviving? Wait, how, long have you, how long ago did you quit the editing? Uh, it's been two years. Oh. So can you give us an oh, example of some day-to-day so -day survival methods since you've run out of money? Can you give us... He was only um, one year into stand-up when he quit editing. <laughs> how does it feel to be rendered useless? Uh, <laughs> How are you surviving, uh, Joshua? Um, my overhead is really low. I live at home, and uh, and your shirt is really long. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so wait, where do you guys fuck then? You live at home with your parents. I live at home with my mom. Yeah. Oh, okay. So where do you mom. guys fuck then? Uh, at home with my mom, very awkwardly. Yeah. With your mom? Ah. No, no. Damn, that's with crazy. Wait, so your mom's Egyptian. Yeah, I'm I'm Egyptian. Yeah. And How'd you know that, Russell? Because she said the Egyptian pharaoh or some oh, shit. Oh, the, yeah, know. the Fresh Prince of Egypt. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, and now Aphrodite. And now so Aphrodite's right like, now. Ooh, yeah, she, oh, yeah, oh baby. If yeah. she wants to, <laughs> she could study. She me sounded later, like a Popeyes later. commercial just now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Your mom's Egyptian. Yeah, and my dad. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. But they're not together anymore? No. No, they've been broken up for a few years. They parted like the Red Sea? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> are, uh, you in, are you accepted it or are you in denial? <laughs> hey! If this was at midnight, I'd give you all the points. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. What did they break up over? Camel. <laughs> cigarettes, cigarettes. They, uh, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. It, yeah, I was, did. I was grown by then, so it right. didn't really, you know, affect me as much as right. if I was. Uh, how old are you, Josh? I'm 28. Okay. Oh, you guys are the same age. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Wow. Guess, would you say you're in love, you two? I yes, yes, yes. I did not hesitate. She waited for your response to answer. To be honest with you, she went, <laughs> are you are you in love? Aww. I didn't know her voice could get higher. <laughs> uh oh, she likes him more than he likes her. <laughs> you gotta do it. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Like, that was the saddest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> she really tried to do it. <laughs> And that's literally coming from a monster. <laughs> <laughs> that's not Pharaoh. You couldn't make her hands clap. <laughs> yeah. Even her butt goes inland. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, I mean, that was really awesome. That was a fun thing where I was expecting the, uh, the girl that's been doing it for yeah. two months to be funnier than the guy that's been doing it for a couple years. But yeah. Joshua Awad, on your first time here on Kill Tony, you, you fucking Thank crushed. You. Thank you for doing this. You guys are uh, one of my favorite young couples in all of comedy, all the way from the Inland Empire. Karina Segun and Joshua Awad, everybody. Come on. A lot of mercy. <laughs> this is a very female-friendly episode of Kill Tony. Put your hands together for Robin Blake, everyone. Oh, Robin Blake. Here she comes. Hey, make some noise if you're happy. Make some noise if you're hot and sweaty in this bitch. Make some noise if you have genital herpes. I've had a lot of unprotected sex. 
I did not get one STD. I got two STDs. Uh, my name is Robin. Most people call me Sir. My best friend told me, he said, Robin, if you want people to stop calling you sir, you got to start wearing makeup. Start wearing makeup, people stop calling me sir. Start calling me brave. Damn. Robin Blake. Welcome, welcome. So this is your first time on the show, right? Your microphone, Robin, over there. Let's grab that microphone. Fuck yeah. Uh, we know you like tucking things that look like microphones away, but let's just keep it for now. Put it right up there next to your Adam's apple, Robin. I want to be able to listen to you. Come on, I can say these things. It's 2018. You yeah, signed yeah. up for this shit. Can we, uh, I got a sense of humor. Is it okay if we call you Bob? Or? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, my name's Robin. I, I legit, I got two X chromosomes. What does that what is help us out? What does that mean exactly? It means I'm a biological female. Fuck yeah. You're a bad bitch. That's what you are. You had a great set tonight. And uh, we're just talking here. How long have you been doing stand-up? Two years. Two years. Uh, all here in L.A.? Uh, well, I'm actually from the IE, too. The so, IE? The yeah, the Eminem 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 Park. Have you ever gone to the Chili's over there? I'm from Pomona, so it's part of L.A. County. Right. Pomona! I grew up there my whole life. All but right. I, I do comedy out here, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm a webcam model. I, uh, what do you do on the webcam? I flex. <laughs> what are you doing? What's happening? Oh, shit. She's flexing. <laughs> she is built like a fucking... Brick house. God damn. I and just hadouken my pants again. <laughs> you are listening lethal. To the, for those of you listening to the podcast, Robin looks like she carries trees for a living. Uh, she looks like a mountain climber. Yeah. Like, a, like those rock walls. How are you built that way? You're built like a fucking brick house. Uh, genetics. Extra genetics. <laughs> I wish. Um, I'll tell you what. I took steroids for like three years. Uh huh. What? How? Yep. Go ahead. But this is all I got. Like I didn't work hard enough. I should have <laughs> been so much bigger. I'm just. I didn't Did work hard enough. Did you get like a like a? <laughs> oh, it's it's this big. Like a thumb is it? It's this big. Oh, that's impressive. When it's hard. When it's hard. When it's, hard, when it's erect. Yeah. So they do not call is you. Is that Hong on the Lee, webcam then? too? Absolutely. Are you on my free cams or uh, which one? <laughs> no, I, I think she's about to be on your free cams. Phenomenal joke. Hey, just call me later, man. What's it called? I'll Chatterbait? Chatterbait? Yeah. Chatterbait. Yeah. All right, yeah. you creep. I usually, a pop. I, I usually no. do not repeat jokes on this podcast, but I feel like a phenomenal one just slipped by. <laughs> I said, so do, they do not call you Hung Lee then. Jeremiah Watkins just killed himself. So, Robin, uh, what are you into? You took steroids for a few years. Did you How take steroids and bodybuild or just take steroids? I bodybuild. I used to. I, I wanted to focus more on comedy. I realized, like, the bodybuilding world, I'm a big fan of it, but it promotes... It was really competitive, and I really, it really triggered my body dysmorphia. So I had to take a break. When you say that it triggered body dysmorphia, like what can you, if, if you don't mind talking about it, uh, can you give us an example of what you mean by that? Well, like, okay, like I love my body, but then when it got competitive, I couldn't see my body the way it really was. Hold on, Brian. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I know. I watched. I listened to this. Keep show. going, though. I'm interested to hear your actual yeah, answer man, like, here. This is a very interesting. Don't interrupt interview. me. You know. Um. 
Let's see. Uh, you know, on, I'm a personal trainer, too. I've, I've done everything. I've drove, driven for Lyft. Um, I'm about to become a security guard. I don't know. Like, when it comes to, like, bodybuilding, it's just that... I mean, like, I like being athletic. I think what yeah. happened was I didn't like the pageantry of it. Right. But I like the performance aspect. Mm -hmm. But you're limited as a woman because right. we don't get a lot of time to pose. Yeah, gotcha. you didn't like the gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I have no idea what is happening. Perhaps. No, she's a woman. She didn't like the, the paint the is going I'm through his skin like and he's having an allergic reaction or something. A little too. What is that green house paint you put on? What is happening with Joelberg tonight? Remember, he is a monster. <laughs> that wasn't me that he, said that. He's shooting a bunch of blancs tonight. <laughs> so, uh, Robin, you into uh, boys, girls? What's your story? You just uh, beat the shit out of dudes? Like, what, what do you do? Uh, women. I like yeah. women. Hell yeah. I got a crush on Cassandra. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah. How could you not? So do I. Look at her. Amazing. I will fight you if you agree to the terms. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. shit. Jeremiah, that, be there, careful. That, be yeah, careful. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, she yeah, might. Yeah. Nope, nope, nope. He's uh, kidding. He's yeah, just yeah. a jokester. <laughs> this, is how, this is how all my friends get hurt. Um, <laughs> last time Jeremiah took a chance like that, it was on a skateboard covered in pads. <laughs> I brought dishonor to my family that day. Robin, we have a little tradition on this show uh, that we just did on, uh, also on, uh, in Fort Wayne. It's a little game, uh, but if, it, if you don't mind playing it, uh, it's a little game called What's in That Fanny Pack? Uh, yep. You don't have to pull out everything, but if you just want to show us something that, that, it's almost like show and tell. You basically get to pick what you think might be the most interesting thing out of fanny packs. We only do this with fanny packs, not purses. I bet my... Uh, this is called... What? Whoa! This is going to be interesting. Dog poop? Is that a McChicken? It's a McChicken sandwich. Whoa! <laughs> wow. A fucking... <laughs> Chicken sandwich. Hell Robin, yeah, right. You Robin, going uh, crazy. Is that Robin. half a chicken sandwich? Have you ate half of that already? Or? Like a quarter. I ate like oh. two thirds. Damn. You're a fucking. You ate a quarter. Is that like a weed chicken sandwich? <laughs> Just don't eat all of it. You'll get Robin, really is my Robin, is, uh, is my regret for saying gay shit in there? Dude, you and I are cool. We're friends. That's right. I love you. All right. <laughs> all what right. else is in that fanny? Remember part? the episode that Joelberg broke members. everybody? <laughs> <laughs> I am Blanca. I am a street, we have I am a street fighter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, Jesus Christ. Oh. The whole house of cards is oh. crumbling. Well, Robin, I will tell you this, is that I find you so goddamn interesting. I've spent more time with you than any other person uh, by, by the clock tonight, and I wish I could spend more time. I have, like, so many more questions. I think you're so goddamn interesting. Thank you. I, that means a lot. So I really hope that you'll sign up and come back again. Will you? Uh, we're friends. She'll be around. Her first time on Kill Tony, Robin Blake, ladies and gentlemen. Another person all the way from the Inland Empire. Hell Yeah. goes Robin Blake um, we have a regular on this show uh, whereas so many people get pulled out of the bucket uh, there's one guy that writes and performs a brand new minute every single week and he's been doing so for the last few months in that time he's gained a huge fan base of his own uh, from being on this show he's gotten big-time agents managers everything this kid is fucking hilarious and he writes and performs a brand new minute every week on this show. Make some noise for him. It's the great and powerful Malcolm Hatchet. Hey. Lay down. Hell yeah. What's up, y'all? Right. Man, I rode a roller coaster for the first time. It took me 24 years to ride a roller coaster. I ain't a bitch no more because I rode a roller coaster. That shit was scary, though. 
I don't know about y'all, but when I get scared to do shit, I just tell random people around I love them. <laughs> when I was getting on the roller coaster, a lady was helping me strap up. I was like, excuse me, miss. I don't know you like that, but I love you. <laughs> she like, um, I'm married. I was like, I love that nigga too. <laughs> Could you call him just in case I don't make it back? And then the ride took off, and that's when I called on God. I was like, Lord, if you stop this shit, I go to church every Sunday. And you know when the ride dip, you supposed to scream, but ain't shit come out my mouth. It was like, ah, ah, ah. and then it started to spin. Ah, ah. This dude was like, who's sucking dick? Ah, ah. Keep going. Yes, finish it. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. And then the ride went back to... <laughs> and then the ride went, went back to the entrance, and I was like, this it? They were like, yeah. I was like, ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you did it again, Malcolm. That's true. You've been riding roller coasters? I rolled one in Vegas. I tried to break it down to a minute. My which bad. which, which, no, which one, though? Uh, the shit by New York, New York. It's oh, yeah. a big one, man. That's your first roller coaster? Hell yeah. Wow. And my last. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was cool, though. It was straight, man. Man, that's a lot of fun. Did you do that? You didn't do that zip line thing? Hell no. Uh, I, I, I mean, I'll probably do the zip line maybe one day. Yeah. I don't want back home, fun. but you can, like, touch the grass when you go across. Yeah, you were doing the uh, you were doing gigs at the, what, the Laugh Factory in Vegas or the Comedy Cellar? Where oh, were the you? Laugh Factory. Yeah. How was that? A lot it of was, fun? It was, yeah, it was real nice. Um. All right. Uh, very, very, a lot of noise coming from that main room, green room tonight. That's Damn. a first. What the fuck? It's, you need taken, my belt? it's taken years for idiots to ruin that one for me. Who is it back there? Enemies. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. Who has the fucking balls? Man, someone's getting reamed after tonight's show. That's going to be exciting to keep an eye on. I'm going to send Robin Blake in to beat their ass in a second. <laughs> she is doing security. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, so, Malcolm, how's everything else going? What else is going on in life? You're fucking taking over. You're still living in your car, right? Yeah, I've been my friends, but I've been in the car, too. Yep. So. Hey, you don't know what's crazy? Yeah. I went to the doctor to see if I was a diabetic, and I ain't a diabetic. So he said, keep eating sugar. No, he didn't no, he say did. that. He, he did, did not keep say that. Sugar. No, he did. He did. Why he did, did he Why did. did you think you were diabetic? Because I ate a lot of sugar. And my dad, he died from diabetes, so I was just trying to go get checked. You were you close? So you're just trying to see if huh? you could push it along. Like, did they tell you, like, or like you know, you you could be diabetic? Nah, in the he future, said you're or? good. Oh, go get some candy. No. He did not say no, go get some did. candy. No, he did not. You're lying to me because you know that I care about you, and I told you that you've been eating too much candy. And now you're lying to me on the show oh. about the doctor prescribing you fucking he was like, candy. He was, like, he was like, I don't see what the problem is. Go eat some sugar. <laughs> he did not say go eat some sugar, Malcolm. I can't see him. I can't you're see lying. Him live, yeah. We're live yeah. streaming around the I'm globe a, listen, right now. I'm going to go back and I'm going to record them, put it on Snapchat, <laughs> okay. and tag you. I swear to God, you better. I'm yeah. an Aries. Aries don't lie. <laughs> record it. <laughs> you have a nice lawsuit in the future that yeah. you can get a lot of money for. Yeah, yeah almost. Yeah, I love sugar. Yeah, I've been chilling, man, you know. I love it, man. I love it. You Have you done any remodeling in the car? Oh, I got a newer car since last oh, time. Oh, look yep. at you. Instead of getting an apartment, you got another car. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, remodels, yeah, my floor mats, they say welcome now. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> they misspelled Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Malcolm. I fucking love it, man. It's so much fun. You know, we were just in, uh, we were just in Montreal and, you know, uh, Jeremiah crushed it on new faces and Hell I was yeah. thinking about you and I was thinking about, you know, how it's funny how it took them years longer than it should have to get Jeremiah in there and, and I'm just so excited for the, uh, you know, <laughs> just like I was with him, I'm so excited for the world and all those silly idiots that run show business to find you and uh, watch you explode idiots, like sure. I think it's going to be. The same thing with Haddish, you know, we were just talking about this earlier where it's like, you know, she was on this show so many goddamn times, just part of the family. And, uh, you know, once you're gone, you're gone. Once you're that big, you're yeah, that big. Yeah, she doesn't return calls anymore. Have you met her yet? Have you met Haddish yet? I, I came here a year ago in April for a showcase and she hosted for me, but she was high, so she don't remember me. Mm -hmm. But not, I met her, but she don't remember. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She will. Maybe. Yeah, probably. 
You know, I, uh, I, uh, during the, uh, I don't think I've ever told you this, but during the five-year anniversary for this show, in the couple weeks leading up to it, I, you know, I had Joe Rogan and Dom Irera booked, and I was putting together in my head some cool things for the show, what else I could do. And I hit up, uh, I hit up Tiffany, you know, one of our close old friends, right? Like, you know, me, her, and Red Band, uh, headlined, uh, triple headline shows all around the country together. We've been everywhere together and all this. And I, and I sent her a message. I go, hey, you know, we already have guest book for this big five-year anniversary, but if you want to do something cool, you should stop into the store if you're free at about 9.40 p.m. because we have a regular on this show, Malcolm, who's amazing, and I think it'd be the coolest thing if you just swung through the fire exit back door. Josh will let you in. You can come out, say you people can accomplish your dreams in your own way. You know, I sent her this message. Then it turns out that night she was hosting the fucking MTV Video Awards. Yeah, I know. How stupid am I? Hey, if you want to swing by Kill Tony and give some words of encouragement. I'm such an idiot. She's yeah. hosting the fucking MTV yeah. Video Awards. She's hosting the Video Awards. She's filming her, like, 10th movie right now. <laughs> it's unbelievable. We are just so proud of her. You can look back on so many great episodes of Kill Tony and not only see her on the panel, but she was also the Iron Patriot a couple episodes. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, anyway, long story short, Malcolm, you're a fucking star, too. Thank you for doing this every week. There he goes, Malcolm Hatchet. It's getting hot in here. Extremely hot. Let's get that AC up in here. Who's working this joint? Fucking seven door guys. Nobody keeping an eye on the thermostat. I don't understand why we have so many door guys. This reminds me of the time I battled Balrog in Jamaica. All right. Back to the bucket we go. Is that good with you guys? Back to the bucket? Huh? All right. Let's see what happens here. This looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Vincent Bryant. Vincent Bryant. People are walking other directions. No nope. Blacklisted. Wow. Jeez Louise. Vincent wow. missed a spot. Is that Carrie? Hi. Make some noise for Carrie, everybody. One of the coolest bartenders at the comedy store. Hell yeah. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Ladies Night will continue. Put your hands together for Sarah Lawrence. Sarah Lawrence. Sarah so Lawrence. Sarah Lawrence. Sarah Lawrence. Sarah Lawrence. Oh, Sarah Lawrence. Wow. Jesus Christ. These people sign up and then they get scared to death. So many females this show. It's crazy. Okay, put your hands together. She's in the bathroom? She's taking a shit. Damn. All right, Brian. Wait a really, I mean, really. Like, what do you think's going to happen when you say something like that? Were you expecting the crowd to go crazy? She's taking a shit? That's what somebody like, that's just what yelled you out. really thought. Like, hey. that's what your just brain. yelled out. She's taking a no, shit. That's what you just said. Right. Someone else said she's in the bathroom. And somebody and goes, you, she's taking a shit. That was you. No. Really? You said it into I the microphone. I repeated what they said. Why would you repeat what a, what a normal brained audience member says? Because. All good, right. There she is. Hey. It was a good bit. Here she is, Sarah Lawrence, everybody. See, it worked. <laughs> you guys ever have sex with somebody without a condom and then freak out that you got an STD, so you go and get an STD check, and then before you get the results of the STD check back, you have sex with somebody else without a condom, and then it turns out you definitely gave them the thing that you thought that you had? I'm just asking for a friend. It's not... I'm, everything's fine. Um, I cut my hair like this. I got an undercut. And all my Ameri I was in the toilet, that's why I'm all my American friends are like, oh, girl, I love it. It's so edgy. That's so you. It's so fierce. I love it. All my Australian friends are like, <clears throat> hey, Sarah, why'd you cut your hair like a fucking lesbo? <laughs> I used to play professional basketball. I know what you guys are thinking. Since when did they start calling women's basketball professional? I actually broke my pelvis. Here's it's ended my career. Here's the move. Okay, focus. So I went to do a crossover, and then I fucked three black guys. <laughs> my friend went out with a guy and uh, she said at the end of the date they went to try and have sex and they couldn't because his dick was too big and I was like what is his number Sarah Lawrence Sarah Lawrence Hell fresh yeah. out of the shitter yes <laughs> there you what? go what happened I had you alright Sarah you no I was I, I barely flushed the toilet I 
Oh, I washed my hands. Oh, sorry. This is the too much. It's wet from my. What the fuck is? Oh, that's from your hands. Okay, yeah, it was very like, good. I thought that was. I know in America paper. you can flush those. Woo! <laughs> Thanks, Isabella, for coming to get me. Wow. So Sarah Lawrence, uh, you just performed comedy out of breath and very fast. I've never heard a female auctioneer perform <laughs> stand up before. That was some interesting stuff. Is it true mm-hmm. that you used to be a professional basketball yes. player? Yes. Really? Yeah. yeah. In um, Australia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I did. I fractured my pubic bone. I'm listening. So. <laughs> What did you fracture it on? Um, okay, so I, I did do a crossover, and then I pulled all my adductor, and then it like um, we were doing like a training camp, and I didn't want to be a pussy and stop because but, I were uh, like your pussy stopped you. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, so so I kept training, and the training day was like a twelve hour training day, and then I just kept training through it, and it just got worse, and worse, and worse, and then I had time off, and it never got better, and I did all this kind of like surgery before I got the actual surgery and none of it worked and it was very sad. So you had some problems down under? <laughs> they had to take the shrimp off of Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Kangaboo. <laughs> wow. So uh, how long were you at... Okay. <laughs> how long uh, were you... Uh, how long were you an Australian professional basketball player? Uh, a couple years. A couple yep. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she's definitely going to be Australian forever. Yeah. How long yeah. have you been in America? I've been here for four years. Four, four years. Four years. Yes. Yeah. How's that going for you? I'm um, really good. You, what part really of good. Australia are you from? I'm from Perth, which is like the left. Yes, like I the, know it. I know it well. Okay, great, great, great. I don't Where's know your wife from? Uh, Melbourne. Nice. Melbourne. <laughs> you don't have to say Perth, it like that because that's what she says. Yeah, I mean. Perth's on uh, the other side. The gold, other side. Gold yes. mining town. That's, yeah, that's, that's where my where tour Melbourne started is. this year in Perth. Really? Yep. I remember Perth because that's where uh, Uma says that Bill is from in the movie Kill Bill when they lie to the <laughs> guy that she's marrying. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, she kind of looks like Uma. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. It's a little bit of Uma there. Your shirt says fuck Kanye. Oh, why? Like, I, I, why? Why is I that? I knew this was going to happen. I was like, I bet you if I put on a ridiculous shirt. So this was, I, I bought it like four years ago when he, what, he did something really dumb like four years ago. And I was like, fuck that guy. And yeah. I got the shirt. I mean, which I don't remember. Time. Something Isn't really that funny how the Kanye's haters can't even remember what the fuck he did? <laughs> People that just listen to fucking slow, shitty acoustic <laughs> music all the time. Like, fuck that guy. I'll just wear a shirt that says fuck him. <laughs> People will think I'm cool. Actually, everyone's been really upset about it. So, you know. What? Everyone's been actually pissed off. Uh, I, it, I've, like, divided the crowd. Half the Not people at all. are like... Nobody cares that much about Kanye. Cool. Here. Well, I sort of do a little bit. Do. I know you do, which is yeah. absolutely... I, saw, I forgot, I forgot yeah. about that until just yeah, now. Yeah, he's one of the great artists of our time. Great, 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 great. Cool. If you want to take a shot at her, make fun of men at work or something. Dude, I'm, fuck, I'm old. I don't know who else is from there. Isn't it weird that Kanye is like the only black guy that you could even have a shirt that says fuck this guy on the shirt? Isn't there something a little bit wrong with that? Like if someone was like fuck Obama, everybody would be like, what the fuck is that lady yeah, doing on stage? Obama's awesome and Kanye's a douche. What? He might have nice music, but he's a bit of a douche, isn't he? He's a bit of a douche. So you're saying I don't know. Ob- objectively douchey. The crowd know? didn't necessarily go crazy. Plaque. There's one angry plaque. one white, white <laughs> angry blonde chick over there clapping her hands, sitting in the cheap seats. <laughs> isn't every seat the same? Yeah, but I mean, you didn't have to expose that. You really just ruined my little parade. <laughs> of cheapness. <laughs> anyway, but you can't remember what he did four years ago? What did he do? Was it when he... Uh, he, uh, he uh, w- which, which Grammy was it that he won? Oh, maybe it was after the Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift thing. Maybe right. that was why. Oh. Oh, it's not like I'm a Taylor Swift fan. She's a no, bigger. you are now. By you proxy. big, happy Taylor Swift fan. You want to take sides in music? Looks like you picked the fucking Taylor Swift side, you loser. I mean, That's uh, worse. Yeah, well, now I... I mean, you kind of look more Taylor Swifty than you do... Kanye. Do I? Yeah. yeah. I regret I mean, every decision I've ever I mean. made. Of course, Kanye would break your pubic bone if he had a <laughs> chance, but anyway. All right, Sarah. Cool. Well, All right. How, how's life going in oh, America? It's really good, man. Really good. Really yeah? Good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ask you what you do for a living? Um, I have an events company. An advance company? An, an events company. Events company. Yes. Like what kind of events? Um, like uh, bartending, like craft cocktails and stuff. So, oh, okay, yes, we've talked about this. All right, well, cool. What do you do for fun when you're not doing stand up and you're not planning events? Um, I went on a Bumble date. 
Ooh, yeah. a bum- a Be careful, bumblebee. you know what happened to uh, the other couple. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it was hilarious because they, like, they stormed out and we were like, oh, shit. Um, so I don't know where they've gone. But Yeah, yeah that was hilarious. <laughs> so your Bumble date, how did that go down? What was that like? Where did you go? Um, really good. Um, so it was my first time and it was his first time and we met up and, and, and everything's... Everything's good. Did uh, you he shag, you. as they say? We did shag. Yeah, we shagged. Yeah. Wow. Not on the, sa- not on the first night. What Somewhere. kind of an Australian girl are you? You didn't fuck on the first night. Because I'm a period, so I couldn't oh. do it, you know. Ah. So, so it's handy, so it makes it look like I'm Was your asshole bleeding? Am I right? Hey! Uh, <laughs> periods are never an issue for Ryu. <laughs> His knuckles are red. That fuck yeah. The- Cool, cool. <laughs> if you took the wig off, you'd see uh, you guys have the same haircut. So yeah, uh, I, you'd be a magical <laughs> couple. All right. Uh, Sarah, we're going to keep moving along. Cool. There no she worries. goes. Sarah Thanks, Lawrence. Guys. What do you guys say? Keep it going. Go back to the bucket one more time. What do you guys think? All right. You guys seem like you're down for it. Here we go. Let's see what happens, shall we? Round and round we go, where the bucket stops. Put your hands together for Avery Hutto. Avery Hutto. Here he comes from long distance. I think the first deer to grow antlers was insecure. I think there was like some teenage deer named Brian looking in the mirror before school one day, just freaking out because he had horns growing out of his head. But what do you do? You play it cool. You go to school. But once he gets there, he sees the school bully Chet. Chet is a fucking asshole. Chet's like, what's wrong with you, menorah head? Which is super offensive because Brian's Jewish. But, oh, fuck. I came up here, I lost my voice, and I went nowhere. Fuck that bit. Oh, I know. Ah, ah. I was so pumped. And then you come up here and you're like, no. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, You guys like these pants? Yeah. I had to fight a nurse to get them. I don't know. I just hear sadness in my own voice. It sounds so bad. I'm like hearing it. I'm like, oh, who is this guy? No. No. Oh, my God. Fuck yeah, Avery Hutto. This was very impressive. Uh, Clearly, this is Avery's first time hearing the sound of his own voice. Uh, We've never really had this happen on this show before. Avery, today you were Brian the Deer. Uh. Yeah, yeah. I, you didn't like the deer bit. I thought you were. I thought you were performing one of the funniest children's books I had ever heard in my life. It's it's one where it works half the time and people really get into it and they're paying attention. Where's this? Yeah, when you when you say half the time, I want to go to that gig too. I want to play that. No, no, it works. But uh, sometimes the crowd looks at me like I'm crazy, and I hear like the ah, in my voice, and I just couldn't keep it going. I just lost little, it. Man. They look at you a little doughy-eyed. Yeah, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, this is not good. Wow. Today you, you lost the battle within. <laughs> Avery, how long have you been doing stand-up? Uh, about two years. Two years. How yeah. old are you? I'm 24. 24. Yep. Do you grow facial hair at all? I do not. This is... I shaved today, but I got nothing going on. I will fight you if you agree to the terms. <laughs> <laughs> Avery, you from L.A.? Uh, no, I'm from Detroit. Detroit. Yep. Wow, do you know... But, um, what's his name? Yeah, Jordan? No, I think, I, they're from, I think they're from two different neighborhoods. No. So. <laughs> yeah. No way. I'm from Detroit, unless you're from Detroit, and, and then you're I'm from, from the Livonia. suburbs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You've been there. You know how it I is. <laughs> Nitty, he, he's not my friend Frank Nitty. He's very Detroit. He's here. He's Avery, you live uh, by yourself? Uh, no, I live with roommates here. I just moved here like two months ago. Two months ago. How yep. many roommates do you have? I have, you know Aaron McCann, the Irish comedian who you brought up here, lives with all those k- people? Yeah. 30 people the guy? 30 people guy. Get the you fuck out of here. I'm one of those guys. No way. Uh, you live in that place? 
Holy you, shit. How much are you paying in rent? It's 700 What the fuck? 700 So here's the deal. There's no, it's month to month. You don't have to pay a security deposit. Like, I'm looking for other places, but I was like, I was in, in the De- house or? <laughs> I was in Detroit, like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I like doing comedy. And then I found this place. So I'm like, fuck it. I, no security deposit. I'm going to move to LA. What's the grossest thing you've seen in that house? Uh, uh, you know, and don't say those pants. <laughs> wait, wait, maybe we should tell the audience for the people that n- don't know he lives with 30 people in yeah. a big giant house with 30 people yeah. and how many bathrooms are there four four, four bathrooms, bathrooms 30 not human beings not in a, a house. Giant house so what's the craziest thing that uh you've seen there 30 people you've been there two months uh, you know it's not it's not that just garbages are bad there's nothing really that bad like it's a pretty normal place no, just mo- garbage just, just tr- trash everywhere just the yeah, usual just trash that. house no they have they have cleaning people who come once a day they have mexicans day. yeah yeah they are of course <laughs> but they are making some money like they are they know what they're doing and Angry. there's you have shitty such artists. A, uh, you have such a little baby face. Yeah. What do know. you do for a living? Baby I, face. I just moved here. I don't have a job yet. Yep. You saved up money in Detroit, or you come from? You have your parents take care of you a little no. bit. Saved up money, moved out here. Well, what did you, you save, save it up, up from? I, I, I actually it. worked at uh, Mark Ridley's Comedy Castle. Oh uh, yes. Have you ever been there? I was I a do, server yes. there, and then I worked as a server at like a breakfast restaurant. Which one? The griddle. No, the uh, toast in Birmingham. You guys Alabama? are gonna go to Detroit? Check it out, toast. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I am so upset with myself. I just lost that. I lost man. that. Uh, I'm upset what, with you. You know, too. the good thing about you is, I like you are actually the white guy you look like. <laughs> like you're not like trying to be somebody else. It's like, oh, yes. No, yeah. This is me. <laughs> this is me. Let me ask you something. You be, you bailed out of that deer. Uh, you bailed out of that deer bit on Menorah Head. Yes. Right. That's where, yeah. I, I'll, I, I mean, if you want to let me do the bit. I want to hear the rest now. of this bit. Okay. I'm a big believer in uh, trying to figure out whether you should have kept doing it or not. I want to see okay, if yeah. you made the right decision. Yeah. Do you guys think the first deer to grow antlers was insecure? Wait, 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 wait. You don't have to start, okay. you don't have to start all the way from the beginning. Wait, it's called a okay. it, it Just go. To. You it know what? Do it your way. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Can I just you guys, something before you start? Yeah. I don't think you should pose it as a question. You should just say okay. it as a statement. Got it. And that'll sell it better, because now they don't have to think about it. Yep. Look at me. Look at me. Everybody. I think the first deer to grow antlers was insecure. I think there was some teenage deer named Brian looking in the mirror one day, freaking out because he had horns growing out of his head. But what do you do? You play it cool, you go to school. But he gets to school, the school bully Chet's there. Chet is a fucking asshole. Chet's like, what's wrong with you, menorah head? Which is super offensive because Brian was Jewish. But Brian plays it cool because prom is coming up in two weeks and he's going to ask Bambi. Now, for those of you who don't know, Bambi, super popular name for deer. So this is a different Bambi, but this Bambi, just as hot. Right? So he goes, he goes up to Bambi, but right when he gets to Bambi, Chet's like, you're going to talk to Bambi looking like that? Freak. And at this point, Brian snaps. He takes his antlers and he murders Chet. Right? But murder is super hot in the deer community. Right? So Bambi's like, oh my gosh, I'm totally going to fuck Brian. And then her friends are like, no, we're going to fuck Brian. And now all deer have antlers. By the way. I'd hate to say it, but I was motherfucking right. <laughs> I knew that fucking, I knew there was something in that deer bit. I'm like, who would, it, yeah, it had to be because it's just too weird of a beginning and you yeah. bailed out. And by the way, I used to do that shit all the time. When I was first starting stand up, man, and it took me fucking, you know, a hard, regular, every fucking night, a couple of years to really learn yeah. to stay in the goddamn pocket. Now, that bit's clearly probably longer than a minute anyway. Yeah. But, uh, but you now know, we, we all are growing antlers. You gotta, <laughs> you know, one of the hardest things to do in this fucking, in this art form is to stay in the pocket and just keep stick, you know, just the quarterbacks that wait and wait and wait until the last second and still throw it right before they get fucking smashed are the yeah. people that win championships. You know, you can't panic when the first couple parts of a thing don't work because you were just coming around the corner. Yeah. And uh, it had life, and it's a silly fucking thing. And uh, 
And, and Russell's advice, by the way, that the question thing never works. Right. Okay. Just get right to it. And that's universal for every bit ever. There's no reason to ever ask a question for any of you comedians. So just know that. I love that one because idiot the, lady just the, laughed. Like, Haha, that's a joke he just said. <laughs> She'll fail her entire life. Yeah. Not listening to the great advice just you given away for free. The audience hates us. The second we walk out, <laughs> they fucking hate you. Okay. Like, that's just what we feel. We walk out and we go, they fucking hate me. And now you ask them a question, like, this asshole just asked me a question. I don't even fucking like him. Yeah. So, You know, and when you did it, you had everybody. And you know what? I see a good, you know, career. You're young. If they ever do a, uh, a flashback of when the... Uh, the Louis C.K. story. <laughs> Fuck, I was going to say. <laughs> who's the guy from just Ballers? Just him jerking off with a smaller dick, you know, just... If, if Rob Corddry ever needs somebody to play his flashback... <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah. There you go. Cool. There you go. Zavery Hutto, everybody. His first time on Kill Tony. I think we all learned something every episode on this show. He's on Twitter at Avery underscore Hutto. Ryan, just wait one second. Ryan, just wait one second. Uh, You know, uh, we normally don't do uh, silly things on this show, but I want to do something special because this guy never really gets the credit he deserves. Uh, a couple days ago, Brian Redband celebrated a birthday, everybody, and we have a little special thing that uh, we made for you. Happy birthday to you. Look, it's Keto Brownies from Cassandra Cass, everyone. Day, dear Redband. Everybody, happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. It's a we Keto love you, cake. Baby. Brian Redband. Aphrodite. With balloons that she probably pulled out of her ass. Yes. And a Cassandra Cass made you a cake. And much like Cassandra, I'm guessing that doesn't have nuts either. She dropped the cake, everybody. Yeah, Just goes to the show you there's the still cake. a little man in there. Uh. She dropped the fucking cake. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Uh, Thank you so much. And that's episode of Bleepity Blop of Kill Tony. We did it. Happy birthday, Brian Redband. We love you. Ryan Shaibel drew tonight's episode. The great Russell Peters. Do you have any uh, dates coming up you want to plug or anything like that? Actually, Tony, I do. I'm playing the Forest Hills Stadium in Queens, New York, August 18th. Queens, New York. It's where they do the U.S. Open, and I need you there because it's 12,000 seats. Hell yeah. For those of you listening to the stream in New York, tell your friends Russell Peters coming to Queens. Look at that drawing from Ryan J. Belt, special Street Fighter edition. How about you make some noise for the great Jeremiah Watkins, everybody? <laughs> Jeremiah Wonders is out. It's one of my favorite new podcasts. We just did the fighter and the kid together today. What else, Jeremiah? Follow me on social media at Jeremiah Standup. Reagan and Watkins will be headlining the rec room on the 15th in Huntington Beach and the 26th in Valley Bar in Phoenix. Bring some friends. Chroma Chris was here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Silent but deadly. Cro- uh, Just, Chris, what did you think about tonight's episode? Tony wins. Knockout. Perfect. I don't know how <laughs> okay, it goes. I never very actually good. played the game. Now you know why he doesn't talk that much, folks. Uh, follow him on social media at Chroma Chris. Joel Berg, uh, <laughs> A lot of Joelberg fans in the audience tonight. They got their, uh, they got their Sh- funnies work. Hey, shout out to Cleveland, Cincinnati, <laughs> Indiana. We love you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we are going so many places with this show, but you heard that at the beginning. Nashville, Lansing, Grand Rapids, Detroit, Toronto, Venus de Milo in Swansea, Boston, Providence, San Antonio, Houston, Austin, Fort Worth. It's all happening, so go see Kill Tony live. I also have a bunch of stand-up dates I'm doing uh, during uh, some of those dates, and uh, we're all doing stand-up on some of those dates. And, uh, yeah, uh, also I do a pro wrestling podcast, and we're watching SummerSlam live from the belly room here at the end of August, whatever that date is. I got it confused. I'm not exactly sure. And that's, uh, that's Kill Tony Live. Thanks to all the comedians that signed up and got up. Thanks to uh, Cassandra Cass for making a cake for yeah, Brian. Thank you, Cassandra. It's a keto cake. It only fell on the ground once. You're going to love it. <laughs> Live audience, thank you. Good night. <laughs>